41 NBC's Skylar Henry joins us with more on this developing story. I've got a copy of the Bibb County Sheriff's Office's incident report that says that a woman is claiming that State Senator David Lucas choked her 14-year-old son right here at the Lakeview Club Apartments where a support rally went south. What we have here is a political ploy to try and uh, discredit our campaign, you know, as we're getting ready to go into early voting. Making Bibb Commission candidate Elaine Lucas says the events that unfolded Wednesday night are an attempt to distract voters. It was a wonderful event until the granddaughter of my opponent showed up and tried to disrupt the function. A report says State Senator David Lucas choked the 14-year-old grandson of his wife's opponent, Terry Tripp, at a campaign event. Okay, Kenya Miller is the mother of that boy who she says is autistic. I ran up to my baby and he did him like this and he pushed him with the other hand in his chest. I reached out to Senator Lucas over the phone who says he did no such thing. Elaine Lucas did confirm an altercation took place after Tripp's relatives were asked to leave the event, but she says her husband tried to be a peacemaker. They proceeded to create uh, what could have been a really bad situation there had the security there not stepped in. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office is now investigating the incident. Sheriff David Davis says while the chatter of political drama may be the case, his job is to find the facts. And if there's any type of criminal activity to follow that up through uh, the DA's office or the solicitor's office and, and, and get a successful uh, a resolution to it. Lucas says she isn't worried about the investigation and will remain positive heading into the upcoming elections. We know that the truth will come out and uh, we're going to continue with our campaign and we urge people to get out and start voting early. Bibb County Sheriff David Davis says that no charges have been filed in this case. He says this investigation is still ongoing. When we get the latest, we'll make sure to bring it to you. Make sure you stay with 41NBC.com. Reporting in Macon, Skylar Henry, 41NBC News.